Well, I hope you all had a very happy and merry Christmas, and I hope the, shall we say, the post-hangover isn't affecting you too much. But today I want to talk about local politics. I know that instantly turns a lot of you off, but but this is important because I always do advocate on this channel for getting involved and, you know, well, getting involved, getting up, you know, getting off, and, and doing something. So many people in this, in in, in especially in the UK, um, seem to think that we just live in a democracy once every four years. We don't. You live in a democracy every single day. You know there are elections happening all the time between now and the next general election, from local party elections to by elections. Uh, like this one we're coming uh, covering today, uh, the South Yorkshire mayoral election race. There's stuff going on all the time. And it's not just elections that you can get involved with and help out with. It's also right to your MP. That does have an effect. I know a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't, but it does. If you can organize like a letter writing campaign or, you know, write to your MP and, you know, in a letter spelling out how serious this issue is, that's something they should pay attention to. It can work. So don't be disparaged if you don't hear anything or anything like that. Keep at it. You know, keep at it. It's always worth doing. And today I want to go over um, something which I know, again, if you've been paying attention, I always tell you, if you want to get involved in local politics, the first thing, the first thing you need to do is go out and buy a book or on Amazon, wherever you want to get it, a book called Paint Your Town Red. It is essentially the socialist handbook for um, essentially local politics elections and the policies that local councillors to mayors to regional mayors in this case as well can introduce that will massively help out your local town. How do we know these work? Well, this is all based and the book itself is all based on what is known as the Preston model or what was originally known as the Cleveland model. So essentially, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the guy's names now, but yeah, they looked at Cleveland, saw that Cleveland was doing all these, uh, you know, very socialist policies, and they decided, why not take those, amend them a bit for obviously the UK, and bring them over to here. And that's exactly what they did. And Preston now, by the way, not only is one of the most wealthy councils uh, in the UK, it has a lower unemployment rate compared to the rest of the councils. It has more cooperative owned businesses than the rest of the UK. It has a better local economy than the rest of the UK, all from these policies. And other Labour councillors are now starting to follow these things. These, these other policies are now starting to drip through into other councils. Socialism, my friends, even though you may not think it's a, shall we say, a winner at a general election, is entirely possible at local elections. And it's it's all out here where we have today Lewis Dagnall, who is, again, the guy who is running for the South Yorkshire mayoral elections. I am going to try and reach out to him, see if we can get him on the channel. That would be fantastic. Um, but he is openly a socialist. He is openly running as a socialist, and he is doing, again, the things that I've said before, again, in that book. We've got to go over it one day. We've got to do it. Um, I keep on saying we do, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it. I promise you we'll do it. Um, doing many of the things that Paint Your Town Red says, uh, you know, socialists can do to improve your region. And as Sheffield City Region, uh, Lewis Stagnall's um, so potential, obviously, um, mayoralship will cover Barnsley, Sheffield, Rotherham and Doncaster in that region, or the South Yorkshire region. So it's going to be quite a big region and will have quite a big effect if we can get some of these policies really acting good and quickly on this. So. Let's dive in. We'll just go over his brief, um, brief, shall we say, introduction here, telling about himself, what he wants to do, his objectives, and then we'll have a look at um, his policy. Uh, he has been a local Sheffield City Council before, I believe, from about 2015 to 2021. Obviously, I have to step down for this race. Um, 
but yeah, let's dive into this then, shall we? So, uh, as this is sort of local election politics, I'm not going to ask you to, um, you know, buy me a coffee this time. If you are in, again, South Yorkshire or you are someone in the UK and you want to support this guy, then I definitely, definitely involved uh, and advocate donating some money to this guy. Because honestly, it's candidates like these that we need more of in the UK. Because these are the candidates that can really make a difference, even when we've got a Tory government, can make a real difference. And then people will start to realise, hold on a second, why, why are the Tories running the government when most of the local mayoral ships and, um, you know, town councils are run very well by Labour or even coalition governments. Um, so things might start to say slowly sleep, seep through to the national level. So let's dive into this then, shall we? So Lewis Dagnall. I'm Lewis Dagnall and I'm standing to be the Labour candidate for South Yorkshire mayor. This is a critical period for South Yorkshire. We know economic recovery always takes longer in our region because the Tory governments don't care about the North, whatever their rhetoric. But I know we're a region of creators, makers and innovators who can lead on answering the challenges of our time, whether it's suggesting the climate emergency, rebuilding our infrastructure or unlocking the potential for everyone, whatever their background or circumstances. We need a candidate who can harness that power to deliver for South Yorkshire, someone with an ambitious record of delivery and has built us up from the COVID-19 crisis to push forward to meet the aspirations of all our people. I am that candidate. I have the experience, interest and the passion to deliver a winning campaign and the Labour mayority that works for all of South Yorkshire's people. So that's him himself. Let's go a bit of a bit of a nice picture there down at the bottom. There. So what does he stand for? That's the big thing. So one of the big things he's, he's standing for is he's going for a Green New Deal for South Yorkshire. We've seen this uh, before at the Labour National Convention. I think some of his policies, again, um, the, the three of the parts that he's going into here, I think will be quite good. He's also talked about creating a, a Green New Deal bond for people that can, people can donate into, which will, again, improve the city uh, and the, uh, sort, of, sort of the city region, like, again, I keep on getting caught up city region yeah so that will be quite interesting uh see that happens i'm again looking for more details on that at the moment uh because it was announced but he doesn't seem to have a link to sort of the full of how that is going to work um again a bit of advice <laughs> for him there so first big one here public transport public transport always a national well always always a very big issue shall we say at local elections especially for the city region who has um i believe they now have a mandate for public transport for the city region so uh, our mandate uh, from the public for a total shakeup of our public transport system we will mandate a bus service network through franchising so that every bus operator must follow routes that the public want. Again, bringing back in uh, the bus system from being private more into public ownership. As you can see, the next part is where it gets really interesting. We will then set up publicly owned buses and tram operators. Yes, publicly owned stuff. Love it. This will be good. Um, we've seen in Manchester, um, when Andy Burnham brought in the, uh, the the public transport to bring transport back into the public uh, ownership, routes have increased. There's now more buses around uh, the Manchester region than there were before that came in. That is a big win for everyone in that region and the city. So this is the other big part because this will be cooperatively managed with representation from passengers and workers. Love it. So these aren't just going to be publicly owned bus and trams. These are going to be cooperatively owned. Again, a big step forward for that. And again, integrated into the rails and active travel routes. Again, fantastic. More public transport, always a good thing for the environment. And again, pretty much for everyone else. So the industry, this is where it gets to the Green New Deal. So I would prioritise a green revolution for South Yorkshire, meaning more jobs in manufacturing, energy, logistics, research and nature recovery. As we build a very tight knit network of local suppliers who profits benefit local workers. So what that is, is rather than saying 
we're going to go to um, outside the region to find suppliers. We're going to make sure that before we have to go outside, that we look at our city region to see if there's any companies or businesses that can fulfill our uh, our needs for for these for these projects. If we can, fantastic, because that means that we can put the council's buying power into local businesses, which then in turn will affect positively the local economy. Again, it's a it's a fantastic move. It's like you know. Um, uh, at the Labour conference, we saw the um, buy British thing almost come back and people sort of like, what's that about? But you don't understand if the government actually go, OK, we're going to buy British, mean we're going to buy um, from British companies to benefit the British economy. Fantastic. That also works at a local level as well. Uh, broke the workers and of course our former coal fields can be a uh, energy but uh, can be the energy future by investing in a green hydrogen and renewable power again fantastic love it can't complain lifeline education uh again couldn't agree with some of so myself as an education myself i'm deeply passionate about education for all i know how time and investment in young people can inspire them to have confidence and take pride in themselves i want local partners with proper resourcing I will fight for the power and resources necessary to deliver the localized skills agenda to fit our region and the twenty two uh, and the twenty first century. Again, talking more about apprenticeships here, but again, uh, the Tory government did screw up the apprenticeship levy. Uh, it would be fantastic to see a, a regional apprenticeship levy that doesn't, shall we say, just get drained by uh, the big corporations when it's mainly small and medium companies that are desperately crying out for good apprentices, because what the big companies normally do is they take people from the apprenticeship levy and then get rid of them after the apprenticeship is done. They're basically treated as a very cheap work source. Uh, that is how the national apprenticeship levy, unfortunately, works uh, in, a, in a nutshell. Yes, uh, those students are getting, obviously, the, the training, but they're not getting the, shall we say, the promised uh, job afterwards there their apprenticeship goes to whereas medium companies and small companies who again desperately need those sort of apprenticeship uh, vacancies again they get drained away by the big companies so there's very very little uh, for them to do and because they don't get to grow off the back of that either so overall um personally for me i'd love to see more uh, information here uh, I think there's not enough meat here currently on the bones. I'd like to see more information here. I think most people would. Uh, again, these are now nice sound bites, and again, they work well for the public to get across what you're going to do. But again, I want to see more information because that's the type of guy I am. So <laughs> hopefully, in the future, like I say, we'll reach out to um, to Lewis uh, to see if he wants to come on and do an interview. Hopefully, we'll have him on before the elections. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that'll be quite fun, I think. Um, so, yeah, um, if you are in South Yorkshire for the mayoral elections, vote for Lewis Dagnall. 